really sure how to style it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well let's have a play with that one then. So the aim I think really is to tuck it in, yeah. otherwise you will appear wider. Okay. And you do look more in proportion when you're sort of when it's tucked in and you can see your hips. When you've got detail like that, you kind of want to show it off. I feel like undertops would be really useful for you. Mm -hmm. Both lengths, your yeah. short sleeve and a long sleeve, would be really good. Yeah. Um, and I think maybe just be kind of mindful of the colours and the fabrics that you're picking. If we'd like to start the wardrobe edit um, with some of those pieces that you don't know what to do with. Okay. So if you can pull out something that maybe you bought and has been sitting here for a while and you don't know how to style, maybe you bought it and you're like, I regret it, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, let's think. So there's actually one I bought quite recently. Um, so it doesn't really fit me that well, mm -hmm. but I really loved the colour on me. Mm -hmm. It's very like baby pink. Yeah. But this um, colour, like, it comes down like a lot. Okay. And I'm never sure how to style it. It has these like ribbons at the back. Mm -hmm. I think I tried to like tuck in. Right. But yeah, it's a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah. I think as you were saying before, if you don't like attention being drawn to your bust, yeah, this shape is definitely for someone a bit more busty. Okay. Because if it's going to be kind of open, mm -hmm. it's going to kind of need that kind of filling and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And what we can do is maybe do a bit of layering with it to add some interest. Okay. So do you have like any tops that you like but maybe with a pattern? Mm -hmm. Could be long sleeve. So with a top that would go like here, yeah, or even a high neck, could be really interesting. Mm -hmm. Take the stripy ones, for example. Yeah, I've got. I think I have it in black. Yeah, I've got the black turtle there. Mm -hmm. um, white. Yeah, this the stripy one. Yeah. So this is a way of doing it. When you pair these together like this, you've almost created a new dress because it looks like it's part of the dress. Mm. Hey, it's really different. Yeah. And it can also work having like a stripy sleeve come out as well if you had a longer version. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you want to try on this combo. Yeah, yeah. Cool. See what it looks like. trying to see if there's another one that would work with your colours. Mm -hmm. as well. Should we to time? Um, so I would say with the one like this, there's actually loads of different ways of timing. So I'd say it's probably nice to keep it quite flat. Okay. You could have a tie in the middle. Right, that's cute. And it could be, you can just kind of move them around to the side as well. This is quite nice actually for the volume. 
So because there's quite a bit of detail, you've got detail on your waist, you've detail here, kind of draws the eye around as well. And then you've got that kind of interest on the neck as well. Also, it's kind of interesting how this is picking out. Yeah, it is. Yeah, would you, yeah. So you've kind of made quite a unique combination, really. Hmm. Like, it shows a bit of creativity that you've put those two together. How do you feel in this one? Yeah, I really like it, actually. I love the fabric um, it's made in. It's really, like, loose for summer. Mm -hmm. So not too hot or anything. I really like it. <laughs> and what's nice as well about the waist being in the same colour as the dress is it's not drawing the eye there too much. Yeah. Like if this were a bright red, that would be the first thing we'd see. Okay. So, could, could fit nice then. So this is something you feel like you could maybe keep now if you were thinking of giving it away? Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, the frame, yeah. Yeah, I really like it actually with the... I never would have thought to put this one under it, but it makes it much more unique. Yeah, and now it kind of looks like it's almost like it's the dress, like if anyone didn't know. Yeah, I noticed you had one as well. Like this. Oh, yeah, this that was it, sorry. I had the same top with like black stripes instead. Yeah, you could definitely do both. Mm -hmm. So like maybe with the black, that kind of, because there's black in it, that gives you the opportunity to wear black elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to wear a black shoe, you could. Maybe this one I would keep all like pale, so maybe you have a nude shoe, maybe you have a pink or a white shoe, that kind of thing. Mm. Um, so I was trying to see if there are any other tops as well that you could keep in, like you, that you could pair underneath that maybe you haven't thought of before. And that's another one of actually my um, troublesome tops, because yeah, I never know what to do with the like heart shape here. Especially as I wear a lot of like crop top instead of bras, it just... And you don't like showing the flesh here? No, I don't really know what to do with it. Okay, so I don't think it can go under them because it would still so show the flesh. We'll work on this one next. This just makes it how you look. Yeah. So this could even make it more casual. Yeah. So like that's quite classy, but this is quite fun. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to make it yeah. quite fun, try it on. Oh wow, that's really fun. So yeah, like, you can really play with the spell however you want to, like, I feel like there's a lot going on if you had it in the middle, the side is quite subtle, it draws your eye other places, or you could remove the whole thing, I mean I know you can still see that, but you can also tie it around the back. Especially, this under top has quite a lot going on, right? Yeah. So it has the heart. It has all like there's a lot going on already. Mm -hmm. So if you tie it at the back, yeah, you can already see your waist from the line on the dress, but your eye is still going to that, which is quite fun. And like if you have long sleeved versions of these, like that can be a really fun combo to have. It's coming out as Yeah, well. in winter it would be nice as well because it means I can wear a summer dress in winter. Yeah, because I say with like dresses, I think they're all year long, really. Okay. So like for the one I'm wearing, for instance, I wear this in the winter as well. Right now I've got nothing under it, but okay. a lot of the time I put stuff under or over it. Mm -hmm. So I can put a jumper over the top of it yeah. and it looks like I've just got a skirt put something underneath it, it's quite 90s, it's quite grungy, so I feel like this is quite grungy, almost the unexpectedness. Yeah, definitely. But um, it could also be quite fun with a long sleeve, like you've got quite a few long sleeves as well. Yeah. Um, I think due to the colour analysis as well, I think it'd be quite nice to keep it all quite light for what you're going for underneath, but yeah, I think there are quite a few options. And then if you like yeah, I think when it gets colder as well, if you think about, like, if something has, like, a neck like this, or a high neck or something, it could probably go underneath. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, I have quite a few of these sort of short tops that can go underneath. Yeah. So I have a play and get creative with it. So yeah. Creative with the bar. Um, so one of the troublesome pieces you were also thinking of 
was this one, right? Yeah. So the issue here is that this is see-through. Yeah. You'd rather not show Yeah. Skin. Like, I love the design of it when yeah. it's not on me. <laughs> but the moment I put it on, it's just, like, really awkward to wear. Even with the bra, like, it's a bit see-through. Mm, okay. That's a tough one. Because I think that means that you need another top underneath to make it work, right? Yeah. And I think you you just want to be wary that it matches and it doesn't clash. I'd say as well, it probably can't have too much of a neckline because this is already a neckline. Mm -hmm. You probably want it to almost have be a plain top. Okay. I'm almost wary with this one. That there's a bit of detail here and the top's quite thin so you probably still see it through. Do you have like any just completely plain tops at all? Um, very good question. I'm not sure I do. Like this uh, type of thing? Yeah, actually. That would probably be one way. Because this has basically nothing. It's pretty unoffensive. It should mm. slip just underneath. Okay. Um, so maybe we'll just have an experiment. We'll do these two, and then we'll pair it with a fun bottom. Mm. <laughs> so we've got yellow and green. We're probably looking to pair it with something that's got a little bit of that in it somehow. Is there like a skirt or a bottom that you really love? Um, in winter I was quite obsessed with um, this one. I really liked it. Okay. Do you only wear it in the winter time? Yeah, it's a bit like bulky for summer, I think. Oh, sorry, there's so many clothes that are falling down. Right. Okay. Hmm. They're definitely kind of in the same colour lane. You've got long sleeves, so you could wear it in the winter. Let's see. You can't really sell them when the the zips are broken, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm, and it's hard to get that kind of thing away because then it's like... Yeah, I usually, if I wear it, I have like a long tab when I go for it so that the zip isn't seen. But I really like the print. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of cover it up. And then it's nice because I don't have a tight skirt on. <laughs> Which is why I still have it. It's quite nice for the home, I guess, as well, if you just want to sit with an open back skirt. Yeah. Like, this would be something I would turn into a handbag. If you like know anyone that can sew, because yeah. it's quite a good amount of fabric, and it hasn't had that much done to it. Okay. So like it's the kind of thing like you could literally cut two heart shapes yeah. out of it and sew them together, and you have a handbag. That's so cool. Yeah. If you know someone. Um. So should we try this combination for now and yeah. see how crazy it is? It looks like you're like in a K-pop girl band. It does, it really reminds me of like that like Japanese Korean style. Like I love it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I feel like with this one as well, you just kind of need to align the necklines a little bit. And like yeah, it's got that kind of interest as well, and it kind of looks like you've layered it up as well. Sleeves look quite fun. Yeah, I actually love the heart. Now that I don't have to worry about it just being on skin, like it's it's really nice. So like I would say maybe for your shopping list afterwards, if you want more ways to make that top work, is if you look at just kind of a few plain long wall short sleeve t-shirts that can be layering tops, mm -hmm. like even for that pink dress before. Yeah. So if you're looking at tops like. Something that doesn't have too much could be nice to sit underneath. I don't see why you can't wear a stripe underneath that or a floral. Yeah, yeah. Cute. I'm happy it's got me like. Yeah, but I've, I've never actually properly worn it before, so I'm happy. Yay. It's a present from a friend, and I was like, oh, what do I do with this? <laughs> and you can turn up to the friend's house and be like, I've done look, look. <laughs> Yeah, it's really fun and like. So like I don't know about shoes, like what you have, but like 
Yeah. In the outfit, there's no black in there. It's like, it's. I would say it's actually leaning more towards autumn, even though you've got the spring, well, the springy, summery yellow underneath your face, which is good. Mm. But like when you're pairing it with a shoe, like pick out kind of what's in that palette. Okay. So like if you have a shoe with a bit of yellow, a bit of blue, if there's even white in here, there's brown, there's gold. Mm -hmm. So like when you're pairing the outfit, that's what you would think about. Like even when you have a bag, like does my bag have brown and gold in it? That kind of thing. Okay. Um, so I've also, just in case that one didn't work, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. I'd like to give you a few more options. These could also work with it. Okay. So. You were saying that one's quite a thick fabric. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit too hot for uh, summer, I think. Yeah. It also looks very wintry. Yeah, it's quite yeah. a wintry look. So, like, this is a kind of lighter one that could be really fun. Mm -hmm. See how it's kind of still in the same colour language? Yeah. That could be really fun. And you yeah, could still wear fun. that now. Yeah. And this is a bit more of an autumny one, but I thought. It's quite fun colour-wise. Yeah, I actually love the two colours together. It's really yeah. cute. So like when you're pairing it all together, you're like, how do these three look together? They're all kind of telling the same story. So that could be really fun as well. Just okay. to give you a few more options. I never would have thought of that myself. That's, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. really fun. And like, so yeah, just like going forward, if you want to play with it more, like, Play with different undertops and see what kind of skirts go with the undertop as well. Yeah. So like these skirts I feel like will go with this green sleeve you have. Okay. Um, but depending what top on like you put underneath could also change. Like most of these skirts can really go. Uh -huh. Say you had like a black and white striped top underneath that. Yeah. That could then bring you into some of these like black base bottoms. No reason you can't wear that with a, with like a jean. That oh, you're okay. cool, like tucked in with the waist. Yeah, the jeans I had on earlier I think would go really well with this. Yeah. And that gives it that kind of like 90s scrunchy vibe as well. They were quite into layering like that with the short sleeve. Yeah, yeah, I really like it. <laughs> I never would have thought to do it, but yeah, it's really cute. And like, I feel like that green top again could go underneath that pink dress. Oh yeah, it could. be quite fun with the long sleeve. Yeah. Do you want me to try, try these ones on or do you? Uh, can I take a picture of this look oh, which yeah. I'll send to you? Maybe if you hold the two skirts. And then what you can do, these are quite nice like as a reference. So like sometimes I don't know you like get a bit confused like oh, I can't remember what goes with what. Yeah. And then you like look at this picture of yourself and you're like oh okay I remember that it goes with that and that and the other. Yeah, that's really helpful actually. Nice. actually. It's also really useful to see on a picture. Like, I sometimes struggle to see if it goes with my eyes. But yeah. then when I see it in a picture, I'm like, oh, I actually love this one. Like, yeah. It's really easy to see. That can really help you when you're pairing it for the future as well. Yeah. Sometimes when you're playing like in your wardrobe and you're like, I'm not going to remember this later, yeah. then you just take a picture and the picture doesn't have to have you. Like, sometimes I take flat pictures. Okay. Like I've just laid it all out, like one really long line with the shoes and the handbag and everything and just put ah. like a picture. That can be really useful. Yeah, it would be. I've never thought to do that actually. That would be really helpful. Um, yeah, I don't know if you want to show me something else, Sure. Yes, yeah, yeah, of course. course. This one. That's a really interesting piece as well. Yeah, because it's, it's a lot shorter than like I expect it to be and because it's so wide yeah unless I tuck it into something like all of my wide skirts make me look like like I'm going outwards too much mm -hmm. so I'm never really sure how to style it mm -hmm. yeah. okay well let's have a play with that one then the aim I think really is to tuck it in yeah. otherwise you will appear wider okay. and you do look more in proportion when you're sort of when it's tucked in and you can see your hips Hmm. Look 
है Maybe you want to wear one of your neutrals, these lighter colors with it, which is fairly similar color to the top. Okay. So like one long line of color. Yeah. Your eye isn't going to the bottom too much. It's going to go more on the top. So you want kind of a color that someone will pass over so that not too much focus is on the bottom. Okay. These both have a high waist, which is nice, so we can tuck them in. But there's not too much detail, so we're not focusing on them. We want to focus on the top more. Um, so I think one of these could be quite nice. Um, I would say actually maybe this one, because this one's got buttons on the front, so the eyes still might be drawn. Okay. But maybe like a plain neutral skirt yeah. would keep the focus on the top half of your body. So maybe that's a good way. Take the eye where we want it to go. Um, and I'd say maybe as well, if you want the eye to go up to the top. Maybe it's a little bit about accessorizing as well. I know you don't have your ears pierced right now, yeah. but maybe sometimes it's something like that, or like something in your hair, or that kind okay. of thing. That is a good way of getting people yeah. to look up. I mean, already this is really interesting, you want to look here. Yeah, I mean, I can see which, I've got some hair bands if I can see afterwards which go maybe. Yeah. Well, like, do you have any necklaces that would fall here? Um, I have like a little selection. Um, this green one, it's a bit long. Um, it's like a little floral one. Mm hmm But it, it comes down a little bit. Oh. That could be worth a try. Yeah. It's probably got... Colourwise, it looks quite nice. <laughs> yeah. There's already so much detail. Yeah. I think these two will probably be okay. So okay. We'll try these ones on next. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> yeah. I think that really helps as well. Like, definitely needed to be tucked into the waist. And it's yeah. nice that the skirt's quite simple. Yeah. I think like these flat fronted ones are quite nice as well because you're not looking at any zips, you're not looking at any buttons, you're not looking at any pockets. The focus is entirely on the top. Mm -hmm. um, so what you could do as well is you could, I don't know if you have anything colourful, you could play that to the advantage and like have a pink underneath and be intentional with it as well. Ah, yeah, because I guess it like draws the eyes here as well. Yeah. So. That could be your detail. I don't think you actually need any necklace. There's okay. already quite a bit going on there as well. That's good. I always forget to wear necklaces. <laughs> so. Yeah. Sometimes necklaces are best with like a plain top. But I think already enough attention is going up the top with this one. Mm -hmm. Like you could shoes wise pair it with a lot of things. You've got a white, you've got a neutral, you've even got a black. You can, whatever color is underneath here, you can pair with as well. I mean, there's no reason why in the winter you can't have a long sleeve underneath it. Okay. For a bit of interest, really play with layering up this see-through. Yeah. Like, you could have, like, a long sleeve, like what we had earlier, the long sleeve green is underneath it. Yeah. And then it looks like an entirely new top. Yeah, so it's like, I could wear it twice in the same week, but it wouldn't necessarily be obvious. Yeah. Much. Yeah. So like maybe like to have more fun with it, play with different undertops. I mean skirt wise, we probably want something a bit more subtle. This one may I mean there's a bit of detail, so you're probably still gonna be looking at it. I mean this one's fairly like a block a plain block colour is probably best. Yeah. Let that be the show talking piece. Okay. Um plain black skirt even. Mm -hmm. well. Like a, the plain ones, I think. A good brand for really good, plain, hard-working pieces, so Uniqlo. Oh, okay. They have like quite a few, and you can really pick a colour that you like. Mm -hmm. So like, how this is nice, how they're kind of really similar. Mm -hmm. So the bottom, like a really light blue skirt could be nice, baby blue. Yeah. Some of your pastel colours on the bottom could be really lovely, and then the outfit looks really fresh. Yeah. So like the baby pink, the 
Oh, that'd be really cute. A lilac. And yeah. then, like, I feel like this is really flattering as well. Like, as you were saying, you're not a fan of your hips. Yeah. What's really nice about it is it's so simple. It's not, your eye is here, it's not here. Yeah. And it's, we're, because it's so neutral, we're looking at the top anyway. So, like, just a plain one coloured skirt is really good at that. I feel like this is a really nice look for, like, work and stuff like that as well. Looks quite professional. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like how so she goes. Yeah. <laughs> and it like kind of like when you tuck things them in like that, it's almost like it's a dress, which is quite nice. Yeah. It does it feels really like they are one, even though they're two different items of clothing. They do yeah. they go together really well. It's, it's amazing though because I never would have one them together, like your eyes are really good for it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I always get stuck with this one. I think I think I might have played, like done a black skirt yeah. before, but it would work too. Yeah, just because I don't know what like black's quite safe if yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And like black on the bottom is fine. It's not underneath your face. Yeah. Since we've seen that white colours really suit you, mm. could be nice for like an all one colour neutral. Like even like a long grey skirt could be really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Good for you. Um, yeah, is there anything else you want to add to try? Um, difficult. But now I have to think about it. I have so many difficult ones. <laughs> it's okay. That's what I'm here for. The creative solutions. This one will be interesting. <laughs> so, this one Ooh. I got in Japan. Yeah, but it's very like unlike me. Like mm -hmm. I, I just. Don't know, like I feel like I look really short in it. Okay. Despite it being like all one colour, I think I don't know. I just yeah. Something happened. Yeah. I never really know what colour to go here because I have to wear something under it. Okay. But I I never know what, so I just I don't really ever wear it. So you usually have to wear something under it. Yeah. Oh, I mean. I feel like blue is one of your neutrals, this shade of navy. So I always like to match the metals. Is this a silver? Or gold? That's silver, isn't it? So yeah. So we probably want to keep this That's quite nice. I feel like I could actually be quite low. This could be quite fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like you've got actually quite a few shirts. Is, what do you usually put underneath it? Um, I think I used to use this one when I did work. Oh yeah, that works as well. Kept it very plain. Yeah. yeah. I think you could have quite a bit of fun with it. <laughs> it's already got quite like a bit of detail here. Yeah, so we don't want to have too much fun. Even that. I feel like it's very versatile. Oh yeah, that's good actually. It's like loads. Do you have a word stripe on underneath it? Um, no, I've never worn it under it. I feel like I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you find all the ones that like I kind of forgot existed. <laughs> I think I just thought it was quite useful. Yeah, I wear the same clothes very often. I feel like everyone has these kind of like comfort clothes as well. Yeah. Oh, I do love this turtleneck. Yeah. So, do you usually put a turtleneck underneath it? Um, I literally have, I've only ever really worn it with this one. Um, 
Because I wore it a few times and then was just like, ah, I don't know. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. So I'm going to stick away from your comfort zone, I think. Um, I would say actually most of the tops could work underneath, so it depends how you're feeling. This could be a really fun look. This could be quite a wild look. I don't know if you ever wear it with like an actual winter jumper, but definitely wear it in the winter if you wanted to. A blouse underneath. Could be quite a lot. I'm hoping to make this a piece that you just wear with all of your shirts in the time. It's really nice, it's like in the blue family as well. Yeah. And then what would be quite nice as well, because this has got a tie neck, when you tie it and it's just kind of draped over the front, that would be a bit of interest as well. I think this one's really classic and you couldn't go wrong really with that underneath it as well. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'd say these would all work. Is there any out of these that you're like, oh, I want to give that a go? I'm really curious about this one, actually. Like, I've only ever worn it with trousers, so... Okay. I've never realised I could layer it. So, yeah, I'm quite curious about this one. See what you think? Yeah. <laughs> Pop it up. I wasn't really sure what to do with them. There's like a ribbon here, but I'm not really oh. sure if it goes at the front or like where it goes. So it, it appears to be you've got it tied together oh. like that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, is it part of the strap? I'm really not sure. It might go around here, yeah. I honestly don't remember what it's on. So you've got these kind of button straps here, which I think makes it adjustable, oh. which is quite nice. So if you wanted to, you could have these straps tighter. Oh, okay. Just tuck them in for now. But yeah, it helps if you want to make it any shorter. You can just bring it up here. I think it's, so it kind of, it's where the straps meet the back. So if you tie like a bow in it, in itself, it just kind of looks like an, ex like, um, an extension of the straps. Oh, okay. They could be tied into themselves, or they could be tied together. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so you tie them together in a bow. Sometimes with these things, if you tie it once, since it's on the back, you don't need to worry because it's all tied up. Yeah. yeah it's just like an interesting back detail. Oh my gosh. It makes me feel really tall actually. It's really yeah. weird. It's that whole long line of colour thing. Mm. Just making you look like really, like, it makes your legs look really long as well. Yeah. And because it's in at the waist and showing that you have a waist, it's like it's showing how long your legs are. So if you're like, oh my god, her leg starts from here. <laughs> her leg is so long. And it's nice that there's like, there's nothing going on in the middle, which is nice for the hip because it's like, okay, the eye is literally drawn to these buttons up here. Yeah. I feel like it's a really nice winter outfit. Yeah, it's it's nice and cosy as well, actually. It's very really breathable. Yeah, I feel like, especially like for workwear and stuff, it's quite nice to wear like a jumpsuit because it's, it's, like, it's like wearing a dress, but there's a bit of a different take on it. So it's a bit interesting, mm. it's comfortable. I don't know if you'll be doing anything where you have to like <laughs> be active or kick or like if you're going somewhere interesting afterwards, it's like a bit physical. But yeah. it's just as smart as a dress and a bit like chic and a bit cool. Um, but I feel like this is really nice, the grey jumper. Yeah, it's really comfy actually, like both of them together. Yeah. It's very movable and like... Yeah, you don't really have to think about it, which is nice, like rather than if there's like a ribbon here, you have to like worry if it's still tied up or... Yeah, it's pretty on and off. Yeah. Yeah, I can really see myself wearing it to work in the winter. Like it's the perfect amount, kind of like warm and cosy. Yeah. Like it's very breathable. I feel like as well if you don't want to show the skin here, 
Mm, probably the normal, like the expected way to wear it would just be to wear that on its own with a cardigan. Yeah. But if you don't like showing skin, then putting something underneath gives you just the same amount of warmth. Like in the summer, you could wear it with all of your short sleeve t shirts, and in the mm. winter, all of your jumpers. Yeah. I think it's quite versatile. These were the other ones that I picked. Like in the warmer weather, this would be really fun. Yeah. Um, and you've got like a few jumpers that could be really nice. Like you're kind of keeping with the icy colours. This one's quite fun, and the collar could be like quite nice as well. Cause, like with this one, the collar details quite nice together. And the shirts are quite like good for like mid season. This could be quite nice. Say like you wanted to wear this in the winter, you could still have a shirt and a cardigan over the top. Okay. So like maybe this, but then you pick out one of the colours from the floor for the cardigan. Mm. So like if you have a cardigan with a bit of pink or a bit of light blue or white or grey and like keeping that kind of icy story. Like I feel like your eyes look really nice with all this like blue and grey and like icy colour going mm. on. I so. <laughs> I think these could be quite good fun with it too. Um, so I don't know if you wanted to try them or if we can just, if you wanted just a few pictures. Oh yeah, so picture might be nice. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I always feel like wardrobe edits are like you're getting new clothes, so they're yeah. your clothes. <laughs> it's so weird, it's like finding things that were like buried within the yeah. I don't know if it will help like when you're putting them back in the wardrobe to pair them with some of the pieces, but then you also mm. have the photographs, so yeah. whatever helps like jog your memory and like sometimes like if it's something I've forgotten about, I'll just move it to the front of the wardrobe. Oh, so okay, that's smart. Remember. Yeah. Yeah, I really should move them about a bit more because I end up having my favourites all in one place and just not yeah. wearing much else. So. Yeah. Anything else you wanted to try? Yeah, so it's all the difficult things, isn't it? So yeah. This one is very difficult, but mainly because I think it's too big for me. Like, yeah, okay. like I said about not liking to show this area. Yeah. Unfortunately, so like I thought when I bought it, it was more like that. Right. But it actually hangs really, really low. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I feel like all of them are just going to be stacking. But it, it comes down far too low. For comfort See. and it's quite loose as well. Okay. Really don't know how to style it. Mm, okay. Um so there are a few things you could do with it. What's really good about it, it has a zip. Which mm. means we could just does it open? Yep. Yes. Okay. We could have a bit of fun with this. <laughs> we could pair something underneath it and make it very intentional. Okay. So like before how we had the stripe, how we had something fun underneath it. Maybe it becomes a bit of a fun item with something un underneath it. I feel like for you, like everyone has like pieces in their wardrobe that work really hard. I feel like you could do with some really hard working long sleeve or like under tops for things to make all those low ones work for you. This one's going to work very hard. <laughs> this top. <laughs> that could be quite fun. Mm -hmm. And then what you can do is pair it with something black on the bottom. Oh, okay. And you have quite a few black buttons, so it's not going to be too hard. I would say this outfit, because you've you know, you've done something like this, it's actually maybe more of a day look. Let's give this one a shot. Do you like this one much? Yeah, it's really comfy. Oh, it's really cute actually. And then it's got the white stitching which picks that out. So it's almost like a kind of neutral with a pop of colour outfit. Does it take things being tucked into it. 
Uh, yeah, it should do. Yeah. Yeah, I think that oh. tucked in could be quite a fun. Again, I've gone quite like street style yeah. with this one for you. You could really have some fun with it, like when you're like out with your friends. Like, I don't know how, like what kind of tights and stuff you have. I don't have any ripped ones, just plain like black ones. Yeah, but I can put them on as well if that goes. And that's up. That's up to you. What you what you feel like. I mean, if you could imagine it, if you want to see it, what could be really nice is since it's black, and you'll have a black tie. Mm -hmm. And if you wore it with a black shoe, it would make your bottom half look really long, mm -hmm. which would be quite nice. Um, because these are all quite short sleeved, you could yeah. just wear this in summer as an outfit. Yeah. And just like wear it with the trainer, wear it with the, just a boot. Yeah. I feel like it's quite rock and roll. Love it. Yeah, like I'm going to a concert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'll try it on without the tights for now, yeah. just because it's so hot. Yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely try it on. Another time with the tights. Yeah. yeah. I'll go pop it on. How do you feel in this one? Yeah, it's really cool. I love it. <laughs> I've never really worn any style like this before. Like it's, yeah, it looks quite like, I don't know how to describe it, like I'm going to a concert or like really casual, like street. Yeah, it's um, quite edgy. Edgy, that's the word. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's kind of your... Direction. I mean, I love it. Like, I've never worn this kind of clothing before, so I feel yeah. really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Like, it's quite creative, it's quite fun, and like, because you're, you know, into Korean street style and K-pop, like, I feel like it's very, like, girl band kind of <laughs> vibes. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if you were out in Harajuku and you had this look on, like, you'd be in. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. really nice. Sometimes like the fun layering is that's where you have that like creative edge that makes you like, oh I'm a bit different. Mm. Look I've like paired this top open on really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. What's also quite nice as well if you're not so busty mm. is you've got a lot of detail going on the bust as well. Mm. So it's making the bust kind of appear a bit more fuller and it's like drawing your attention up because it's so interesting. Yeah. And there's just so much to look at on the top. Yeah. It's like a stripe, a sleeve, a zip. Yeah. I love the zip being done as well, actually. It's really cool. Yeah, I feel like it's just like given that, like, because this top, like, could be quite like a basic, mm. but I feel like now it's become like quite a cool layering piece. Yeah, I never would have thought to use it like this, but it's really cool. And you can take credit for it when you're out there. Oh my <laughs> god, you're right. Like, it's, it's quite <laughs> a like, yeah. stylist. <laughs> Um, yeah, and also like the plain bottom means that like yeah, we're looking at the top. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So that could be a fun way. And like in the winter, like maybe something to be to look for would be a long sleeve version of the same top. Okay. And then you can do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Like it's already quite cool that the sleeve is poking out. Yeah, it's a neat top. This one actually. <laughs> yeah, I think you could get a little wear out of it. And like. Um, sure where it's gone but you know you had the version with the greens right? oh yeah yeah that could do this look in a different color way could do the green version of the look yeah like do you have hmm. something plain hmm. oh great Should we take a picture of that? Oh yeah, good point. So go around that as well. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. <laughs> I, I took the green one on and then the jeans. Yeah. This is fun. What do you think? Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> I feel like it's like 
just as cool as the other look, but like, even like that, the other one was like very concert. Mm. This is like pretty like chill, like see a friend, but also I'm still quite fun. Yeah, and I love these jeans, they're so like easy to wear. That yeah. I can imagine it being like a really easy to put on outfit. But yeah, very casual. So you won't feel that you've got a top over a top because it's such a light top and it's been worn so open. Yeah, whereas I guess just this and just this can be a bit plain. Yeah. Whereas it's really nice actually, but the yellow adds some colour. Yeah, it's like you put like a bit of effort in, you dress up and you've done something interesting, but it's still super comfortable. Yeah, I love it. I'm going to grab that one. <laughs> Sometimes like you do a wardrobe edit and they'll be giving everything away. Yeah. Like bags and bags, but I feel like we've helped you love a lot of things. <laughs> oh no, I'm really glad because I really don't want to throw anything away. <laughs> so I feel like even the stuff, um, I don't wear often, like there was always a period of time where I did wear something, yeah. it's just over time I feel like I've either grown out of it or I don't know how to like make it work for work anymore mm -hmm. or yeah it feels too sad throwing stuff away. Yeah I think if you can still make something work then it's worth keeping. Yeah I agree, yeah mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah anything else? I think there's one final one that yeah. like bothers me. Yeah. But then after that, like I'm running out of like the worst ones. <laughs> but yeah, it's this I just have no idea how to wear. I don't mm. think I I bought it and I never wore it. Like after I bought it, like ever. I loved the lace mm -hmm. um, and the colour. Mm -hmm. But I just I don't understand how to make it look good. It's just. Mm. So is it V on the front? That's the front. Is the V? Yeah, this. Mm -hmm. I think this is the back, where it's intended to be. Interesting. Like if we were shopping, that isn't a piece I would have necessarily picked up for you. Mm. Like you were saying, I think the V isn't really your kind of neckline. I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> I think I actually had brown hair at the time, and the browny redness of my hair might have gone really well with this colour, yeah. which made me want to buy it, rather than actually the design of it. I just like the lazy look with my hair, whereas now I'm blonde again, it doesn't really work. Yeah. Then the troubles in one. That one's going to be tricky, <laughs> I think. How can we make it work? <laughs> That'd be wild. Really, like, it would be a lot, I think. <laughs> difficult piece, I feel like it needs you thing up somehow. Mm. Possibly. Because it's got the same colour in it. Mm. I just wonder if this style is a bit older for you. Maybe it needs more than just a skirt. I think it needs something you can put over it. Hmm. Do you have many cardigans at all? Um, yes. An organised yeah. pile of them. <laughs> I usually have them at the bottom. Because um, they take up a lot of room. So I don't know. I think not black. It's a nice cropped one though. Hmm. I'll see you blue. Yeah. That one's actually my mum's. <laughs> <laughs> but she gave it to me. Could it be nice? 
looking for something just to kind of youth it up a bit, I think. The colours are all great though, they're all kind of in the same story. Yeah. Well, this is quite an oversized one. Yeah. So it kind of like drags down. It's, it's similar to that cream one. I think they're the same but different colours. They're oh, a bit interesting. baggy. It's to the side. The colours are quite watery. But they're yeah. not near your face, so it's not really a problem, I think. Yeah, I'd say these are going to be your most useful fun ones. Okay. Yeah, it's a tricky top, but it's worth a shot. Maybe this. And this one top is a cardigan. Okay, let's see what it does. <laughs> wow, okay, I had no expectations, but it's pretty good. Oh, that's good. What do you think? I feel like they reminds me of the, the colour of like autumn leaves yeah. when they fall down. Like it's these two very to me. Yeah. Just bring that one up a bit. Yeah, I mean, my bra does kind of like add black to it a bit, which yeah. I guess I could try to get rid of, but... Yeah, it would probably be better without, I think. Mm -hmm. But it has improved it. <laughs> That's good. What do you think? Have you seen it? Yeah, I really like it. I, I would never have realised that it went so well with this jacket. Like, yeah. It had so much brightness to it. Yeah. That I really like. I feel like, like so far what I've been doing is kind of making kind of moods out the colour outfits. This feels quite like an autumn look, mm. which isn't necessarily your season, but that mm. doesn't mean you can't wear an outfit in it away from your face. Mm. Um, so I feel like it's quite nice that they're kind of all sitting together pretty well and I feel like the shorter skirt makes it more fun and more youthful and like the chunkier knit makes it more fun and youthful mm -hmm. and like especially since this isn't too long as well yeah because like if it were too long as well that would be a kind of older style and we've kept it all quite short quite playful and quite girly yeah it does it does feel really girly actually it really actually like looks it. quite dressed up like, I love it. if you were like out for like a nice evening out Mm -hmm. um, what would be really nice is a little necklace here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it would be that one. This one? Yeah. I mean, I know your jewellery colour is silver and more, so like the outfit's quite gold and to me, so that has a little bit of gold in it. That way. Mm -hmm. It could even be a bit shorter. Yeah. Oh, is there another one back there? You can see it. Ah, no. It's just yeah. that one, isn't it? Put it back a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, and then, yeah. Good. Oh my gosh, this is such like a feminine look. <laughs> it's really nice. I feel like the whole look is like very sweet and like creamy and nice. And, like, yeah. the cream, yeah, I think the cream's better than the orange there. Yeah. So like, it makes it quite Yeah, nice. this would be even more autumn leaves, I think. Yeah. It's quite nice to keep it light. I'd say like without the black underneath it as well, if you can like even just like a cream or white or a neutral or something that like doesn't show up too much. So I think this is quite nice that it's all kind of in the same. Yeah, I do same. have this in white actually. So oh, yeah, white would work. be perfect. Yeah, I love it. I love how girly it is. Like I, I feel really comfortable in it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, yeah. Yay. It's really nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, actually, it makes my legs look longer as well, which I, I enjoy. <laughs> Short skirts do that, especially yeah. like being high waist, because then you're like, if her legs start from that high up, they're just like <laughs> so long. Yeah, this is a great look. Yeah, I, I, I'm the same as you, I had like zero expectations yeah. for this one. like, oh, can I make that top work? <laughs> <laughs> you could. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty. I'm glad. Yeah, I think actually. With that top, if you can like make it as youthful as possible, it's going to be the short skirts. Mm. Okay. So maybe even, what was that? Like the check skirt from before could be good. Yeah. And it's like, it's got all the colours in it. Oh yeah, wow, that goes really well. Yeah. I love that. For autumn. Yeah. 
for sure. Okay. I feel like making new water in winter look, seems to be quite easy. I'm really comfortable with, I mean, England's cold half, yeah. more than half the year, so this is what I, most of my closet, I mean, this is my summer clothes, yeah. but most of my stuff is really like this kind of like played, dark, warm clothes. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I love this so much. Wow, thank you so much. I've literally never been able to wear this once. <laughs> That's a win. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I can photograph that one as well. Yeah. So Sad, I probably can't really wear it yet because it's a bit too, like, autumn. Yeah. <laughs> and the skirt you've got on now, that's quite thin. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too, it's not hot at all. Yeah. This is the top that I would say is, like, probably on the hanger looks like an older piece. Mm. But I think it's just what you do with it to make it young. I think with the longer skirts, it will probably look too old. Yeah. But, but like now, it's become really cute and really feminine and really like girly. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Um. Yeah. So anything else? So yeah. So that's like all my like problem pieces mm -hmm. done. So yeah. There are still like stuff I kind of recycle like all the time, mm -hmm. or, or I just I don't like stack them. I just wear them as is, like this with like a pair of jeans usually. Yeah. Have you ever worn it with a skirt? No, not that one. No, I do. I, I love, love this top as well. I just always wear it with jeans. <laughs> I can see why. Like it's quite cute even with like a jean short. Yeah, it is. That's really cute. Um, Maybe too flashy. Mm. That could be fun. Oh yeah, like the contrast. And it looks quite like vintage, like mm. this, like seventies. Yeah, I love it. That could be nice for the winter. Yeah. And you could wear that to work as well, I think. Yeah, quite happily with like tights and stuff as well. Yeah. People. I would say like if you're wearing tights, maybe like a nude tie or like a white tie could be quite nice. Mm -hmm. I would say because there's no black in this look. Okay. I would try and avoid it. I'll have to add that to my shopping list. Like I only have black tights. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> That would definitely be on my shopping list. Yeah, I feel like it's really useful as well. Like, it will, so you'll still have that kind of nude leg, like long leg appear as well. Mm. And because a lot of your wardrobe is quite colourful and quite like, a lot of the outfits don't have any black in them. Mm. I feel like it'd be nice to only really wear the black tights if your outfit has some black. Okay. If not, you Good can keep know. it all like quite clean and quite white. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like this is quite fun. You can also just like take pictures of them flat like this as well. Okay. Um, so these could be a nice look together. Hmm. Well, like, I feel like for you as well, like, because you're so fair, like these Quite like light looks are quite nice. I love that. that could yeah, I could so wear that to work. Like I've always thought of this as something I could only wear on the weekends. But once it's paired with like a more formal skirt, it looks fine. Yeah, I feel like because workwear's been changing so much and becoming much more casual. Mm. In the winter, like if you have like a jumper but it's still really smart, like this has quite a shirt like quality to it, so you can yeah. kind of treat it like a shirt. Okay. And I feel like that actually looks like just a smart, really. I think they both look quite smart. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I think these, like, there's already quite a lot going on the top, so like a plain bottom. Even that skirt you had on before, the plain cream one, could be really nice. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you want to, like, photograph them or try them. Or... Can I try this pair you want? I really like it. These two, these yeah. Two, yeah. I really want to see if I can wear it to work. It's really cute. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I need to tuck it in or not. I don't really mm. 
Yeah, it's got such an interesting hem and it's already cropped. So I wouldn't say it actually needs it. It's when you've got detail like that, you kind of want to show it off. Have you had a look? Yeah, I had a little peek in the mirror. I, I love the colours. Yeah, I really like them too. I just think these light colours on you are so nice. Yeah, I love the blue and this. It's really pretty. Yeah, I think it's your blue, for <laughs> sure. This is nice. It's like you're a 70s businesswoman. So, <laughs> you know, like a little work bag or something. Yeah. Do you have like brown bags? Um, so my work bag is like a... Actually, I'll just bring it. Mm -hmm. um, this look like just the different tones of like the nude is your base yeah. the blue is your pop like everyone's gonna be looking up here but then there's still some quite like nice detail then if you like in the winter have like a new tight and a new shoe mm. that'd be really cool or like a nude boot oh my gosh. yeah boots with this would be so cute I really love it little cowboy boot <gasps> yeah cowboy boots are cute or, like a little kind of like 70s <laughs> Go go boot, a white boot. This, this has lots of possibilities. I'll photograph it. Uh, thank you. Do you want the bag with it? Uh, yeah, we can have the bag. <laughs> Even like the clip's still working. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I guess it's all quite that like retro style. Yeah. Did yeah. you say like there's any? You were saying you were attracted to like the nineties. Are there any other eras that you would go for? To be honest, I don't really know that well, like, what looks like what, I just, yeah. I, like what we were saying about the like, K-pop stuff, I just yeah. knew a lot of them were wearing like, the baggy jeans at the moment, yeah. and like the scrunchies, and so I was like, oh, that's so cute, very like 90s, yeah. but yeah, I don't really know that well, like the other eras, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, and whatever this era is, I like it. <laughs> I feel like it's quite a modern take still. Mm -hmm. Like it still looks quite current and quite fresh and like quite young. And the fit is really good on your body as well, that it is quite mm -hmm. a close fit. Yeah. Yeah, I love the skirt. Yeah. Very cute. And the lines down are nice and helpful. Like yeah, it's like cool it. it's very lengthening. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I'll definitely wear this one to work. Um, in summary, I feel like undertops would be really useful for you. Mm -hmm. Both lengths, a yeah. short sleeve and a long sleeve would be really good. Yeah. Um, and I think maybe just be kind of mindful of the colours and the fabrics that you're picking. Um, so I've noted a long sleeve and a short sleeve patterns could be really useful. I think we were quite enjoying a stripe as yeah. we were going along. So like maybe even more stripes, you have quite a few high necks, maybe just a few kind of crew necks, just kind of as under layers. Yeah. The plainer ones are quite good to put underneath because you can't see too much detail when it's under something else. Mm -hmm. So they can be quite useful. Yeah. Um, you can get them at those are really affordable places, you don't have to break the back. So like H&M is really good for that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the clothes are really good for that kind of thing. You can be sort of getting them all season long and still finding the correct colours and styles for you. I mean, h and pretty young. Yeah. Um, Monkey, have you ever been there? No. You love it. Monkey? Yeah, it's spelled M-O-N-K-I. Okay. I'll send you a few links. Yeah, yeah is that well. like an online store or is In it? Person. Ooh, okay. So have a look. In Carnaby Street, if you're ever there. It actually rings a bell now that you mention Carnaby Street. Yeah. I wonder if my friend likes it or something like that. Um, does it have like two floors? Yeah. And there's like spiral stairs? Yeah. Yeah, I've been. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's yeah. quite you. Like, it's inspired by Korean street style. Yes, yeah. Yeah, like some of the stuff's quite oversized, but the prints are always really fun. They're mm -hmm. usually in quite interesting patterns and stuff like that. The basics are really nice. Um, so I tend to bring people there for a really good t-shirt. Okay. Because um, they're that really, you know that fabric you had in that pink dress? 
Mm. They usually feel a bit like that. I love that fabric. It's so like soft and yeah. like, comfy. Like it always feels like you could be in pajamas, but you're not. And I really yeah. like that for like work, where I just feel very relaxed in the clothing. Yeah. yeah. They have a lot. So like their striped t-shirts, their short sleeve t-shirts, quite a range of colours, quite affordable. I think they're stocked on ASOS too. Oh, okay. That's so you useful. should be able to find some of it there. Um, they have quite fun pattern pieces as well, so like if you're looking for something like a bit of a fun investment piece, quite workwear appropriate as well, they have a lot of like shirt dresses, um, mm. like nice skirts, it's all just like quite fun. Yeah. So they would be a really good brand to check out as well. Okay. Um, the accessories as well. Fun. Yeah. Like I get fluffy bags from there, like weird earrings, just like statement pieces. Okay. They're quite good. That, I would say that's like quite your vibe, so I would definitely check that out. Okay. Um, I mean, it doesn't hurt to get a few Primark undertops if you feel like I just need a nude base layer, that kind of thing. That would yeah. be really useful. Um, but I think you could have a lot more fun with the underlayers, and like really play with what's going over the, you know, each other, mm. like a fun floral, that kind of thing. Um. So I think, like bottoms wise, like the high waisted was really working for you. Mm -hmm. And I think because we don't want to put too much onto your hips, maybe like a few just plain but really nice coloured skirts okay. could be really useful. Yeah. So like it could be like a baby blue, a baby pink, like those baby colours on the bottom could be really lovely maybe not too much detail, like maybe it just zips up, it's really easy. They could be really fun. Yeah. There's no reason why you can't get like a trouser in that colour, like a suit trouser even. Mm. Like you could have a whole suit that maybe has a blazer and a trouser, but you don't necessarily wear them at the same time, but you could if you wanted. Suits are quite nice investment pieces. Yeah. So like sometimes at work you might need to wear a suit. Maybe you've just bought like a pastel or light blue suit, so you're wearing it with a white top underneath it mm. and then you're going out afterwards, you take the suit jacket off and you've got like a really fun trouser that you can still play with and use. Mm. They're not like all skinny nowadays, a lot of the suits are these kind of tapered legs. Yeah. Um, a lot, there's kind of a trend at the moment for suit shorts. Okay. So like, like, as like here? Well, like quite short ones. Oh, wow. So you could get like a plain, like, light blue short or something like that, which is still work appropriate because it's, no, it's, it looks like a suit. Mm -hmm. Could wear it with blazer as well in the summer when it gets a bit hot and still yeah. be in the suit. They're quite nice. Um, new look is quite good for that. I don't know how often you should be new look. Um, yeah, I think occasionally, yeah. I think they really vary on the season for me as to like whether I find something nice or not. Yeah. I love their summer dresses usually, so. I feel like the summer dresses, they have a lot of princessy ones that <laughs> kind of go with your vibe. <laughs> they're really good to check. Also, if you ever are interested in petite, their petite section's getting better and better. Is, yes. Is that the one that's kind of like sometimes near the kids' section or is that something else? Uh, so they have 915, which is oh, teen. Okay. Sorry, yeah, I got confused with that one. And then they have petite as well. Oh, okay. So, like, petite starts at four, goes all the way up. Okay. So petite is really just about length. You can be any size and wear petite. So if you're ever thinking, oh, my trousers too long, yeah. I'd like a, like a shorter length version, they have that too. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. A lot more places are getting shorter length. So like River Island also does petite mm -hmm. and they also, they have quite like bright, quite fun things as well. ASOS have everything in the world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, they will definitely have, <laughs> if you're ever thinking, I just need a shorter length in something. Mm -hmm. And that can be quite good. Okay. Um, so I'd say, yeah, like maybe a few like plain colour bottoms, but in those lovely pastels could be really nice. Yeah. Um, also, that navy jumpsuit, was that your only jumpsuit? Yes. Yeah. I feel <laughs> like you could explore jumpsuit. Okay. Like, they were pretty easy and it was still really smart. 
I'd say like just like be on the lookout and don't be afraid to try them and think about how you compare them like we did today. Yeah, yeah like, it's really comfy actually. Now you know that okay I can wear a jumpsuit and I can put things underneath it. Yeah. Like they're not all strappy, you could get like a sleeved jumpsuit as well. Mm -hmm. You could really play with them and like layer them and put stuff under them. They could be really fun. Yeah, yeah I could be really up for trying that. Um, also I would say just a few more like nude and white tights and socks and things like that, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah, I really don't have any of those, so all my socks are crazy, colourful, um, black tights, so yeah, yeah, I'll have to get a lot of nude stuff I think. Yeah, I think so, I think just because like the black's fun, but like sometimes if you want to wear all one light colour and want, you want to keep it going, Wow. I don't know how much like nude and white shoes you have or brown. Um, I've got a pair of white shoes, like the little white pumps, which are really cute. Yeah, so I think they go with a lot better. Again, I always wear them with my black tights. So I probably have been like ruining like the length of it. So. Yeah, I'd say with the white ones, it'd be nice if you can kind of keep the keep it going if possible. Okay. Um, I don't know how much fun you can have at work, but nowadays it's quite a trend for like brightly coloured tights, like you could be getting baby pink, light blue, floral, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to have a bit of fun. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and like shoes as well, I guess like nowadays people are, you don't have to wear a heel to mm -hmm. be smart, you can wear a crisp white trainer. Okay. With like maybe a long dress, with that jumpsuit, you could have worn a white trainer to work and it would have still been really appropriate. Yeah, yeah. I'd say like just a really good quality white trainer, I think, would allow that to happen. Mm -hmm. But nowadays more and more people are wearing just trainers at work so you don't have to change your shoe. You can yeah. just like be in it the whole day. Like with some of these longer length skirts, a plain white trainer would be really nice. The skirt ends here and then you've got a white trainer. Yeah, no, I love that. That kind of fashion as well, actually. Yeah, I feel like that could be like a really useful piece, like an Adidas or something like that. But something maybe not too flashy. Ted Baker's quite good at smart clothes, quite good at workwear. Oh, okay. Bit of a higher price point, but like if you're looking for like a nice investment piece. They're very feminine as well, if that's your kind of style. Yeah, yeah, I do like Ted Baker. I think I have some heels from there, maybe? Was it Ted Baker? I've definitely got a few things from there and I remember liking it. But yeah, it's a bit more pricey, I guess. It's a bit pricey, so I would say like if you're shopping Ted Baker, it'd probably be for an investment piece that you'll keep wearing, like a shoe or a bag or a coat. Okay. Mm. Like, coat-wise, they're very famous for these kind of wrapped coats they do. Oh, I love those. I don't have one, but I really like how like sleek they look. Yeah, they're quite professional. Yeah, it's like my image of like the London businesswoman, like a sleek coat and then her bag and yeah. Yeah, I feel like it goes with the kind of coach bag vibe as, like, as well. Yeah. They tend to always, I mean every season I've seen them, I think it's one of their it pieces, they'll have like this wrap coat. I've seen it in pink, I've seen it in burgundy, I've seen it in like those kind of shades. It's like, I don't know, like, in the winter do you wear like a black coat or...? So, because I get cold really easily, I end up often prioritising warmth over fashion. So, um, I mean, they're still really colourful, but I have loads of really big fluffy pieces. Nice. That are, they're quite over the top actually. Yeah. Like, each year I end up kind of just buying a new fluffy coat mm -hmm. to keep warm um, and last year I had a really bright blue one it was really fluffy um, sounds great yeah and then big white one the year before yeah you have got coats sorted you don't need a new coat I have a lot of coats <laughs> because I'm just a very cold person but I love the idea of the, the Ted Baker like sleek ones so yeah I have a lot of coats but not a lot of not a lot of like fashionable I think fluffy is fashionable yeah. It's very cute. <laughs> Same as you, I've been buying a fluffy coat every year as well. I can't stop. <laughs> I love fluffy coats. And it's funny because people in the elevator at work will like stroke it. Yeah. And like, oh, it's so fluffy. And they're, they're warm. And they're yeah, still so warm. warm. Pretty stylish. Yeah. I think you're pretty on it. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. Yeah. It definitely makes everything look a lot cutesier. Yeah, it's quite fun. I mean, if you ever wanted to like look 
sleek or you know you can still like get a nice wool coat with like a mm. warm lining as well yeah I've looked at uh, it's funny you mentioned Uniqlo because mm. I was looking at their like heat tech range where you yeah. can get like the underwools because if I do want to get like a more sort of sleek professional style coat like the ones from Tepeka I think I need to buy some like underwear like a like a warm thermal top underneath or I'll just get too cold I would definitely recommend Uniqlo as well for the for the plain t-shirts um, okay the heat techs come in a lot of colours yeah so you don't necessarily have to hide them away they could be the undertops oh that's an idea yeah. so you get a brightly coloured like under top yeah and then you just own it and you just wear it and make it intentional oh. sometimes I think when you when you try too hard to hide it away it's like it away, but I feel like I've done something really cool with my heat tech, and it's like a I've got a purple heat tech under this dress, and like, that would look quite cool. Uh -huh. Like a lot of the time, the heat techs don't look like heat techs; it just looks like a long sleeve top. Yeah, oh, I might try that out then. Love yeah. when they come out winter. I'm like, you can wear a scarf in the office, just like fashionable, but like mm -hmm. maybe just look for a fun color or a fun print. That can be quite a nice edge as well. Yeah. It could be like, yeah, just sort of think about like what, like you have a lot of pattern here already. Maybe it's like a plain color that you want to have sit under your face that looks really nice, like a pastel or something like that. You don't have to do it up, you can just sometimes I wear them as shorts, just pop it over your shoulder and it makes you quite warm. Uh -huh. You can get things like capes that look quite intentional, Ooh. a little bit red, in, red or riding hood, but. That could be quite nice and they can be quite fashiony as well. Mm. So much stuff I need to buy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you some links. Yeah. <laughs> I remembered monkey so far. I've got monkey, Tabaka, yeah. but yeah, so much like ideas now. I'm quite excited. You're right, it's like I've got like new clothes, like almost. It feels very refreshing knowing that things I hadn't tried in quite a few years are suddenly okay. That's good to hear. Yeah. Layering seems to be the one thing I wasn't doing. So I hope that like can unlock like some more ideas as well, even with the things we haven't tried, like just getting mm. a bit experimental with the layering. Yeah. Like a lot of people don't think about putting stuff underneath things. How interesting that could be. Yeah. Like even I know we haven't looked at dresses today, mm -hmm. but like you can get quite experimental with putting layers underneath dresses like we did earlier. Yeah. And like putting a jumper under the dress rather than overing it, like it gives it new new ways of wearing. When you put over it, it looks like you've got like a jumper and a skirt. Mm -hmm. When you put under it, you can see the whole dress. You could wear the same dress two times in one week and no one will be able to notice because you've worn it so differently. Yeah, it's really exciting to, to try out a new combination. Yeah, and like sometimes, like I like to do this at home sometimes myself, like I put some music on have some sort of fun drink going and just have a play and take some pictures, lay them out, try them on. Yeah. It could be quite nice to do on your own as well. But okay, if something is unlocked, I want to just make some weird combinations and have some fun. Yeah, I like the idea of, I think I'll take a few pictures and maybe have like an album yeah. on my phone just to reference because I'm quite good at forgetting. <laughs> so it would be nice to remind myself of like how creative I can be with them. And I'll send you like some pictures from today as well, and like some links and some shopping ideas so you don't forget as well. Thank but, like, you. Yeah, sometimes it's nice to just like look at other what around, like look at Korean street style, look at Japanese street style, look like how they're dressing it on the mannequins. And, yeah. Like how can I do that kind of thing myself and like have a bit of fun yeah. like, with accessories and layering and stuff like that. When I used to dress mannequins, it was always, how can I do something that no one's tried before? Like, give mm -hmm. people some new ideas. Like, sometimes maybe it's rolling something, maybe it's showing a bit of texture, a bit of pattern, that kind of thing. Yes, thank you. I've learned loads. Like, it's a really educational experience, actually. Oh, I'm glad you have. Yeah. Well, yeah, thank you so much for helping me with everything. Thank you.